Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk to you about prepatellar bursitis. Now Sean here, uh, about three days ago, was coming around a coffee table, struck the corner, pretty much right in the front of the knee. As you can see on this side, we have some swelling here. And it's been quite uncomfortable. He's having a hard time running, squatting, kneeling, and um, just really in a lot of discomfort. So what I wanted to do today is go through a brief evaluation and talk about why I feel he has what he has. Okay, um, so can you put a finger on where it hurts? Uh, right on, right on the, the top, probably top of the knee, right up to the uh, top of the kneecap. Okay, and um, the, the, the blow is right here and is a pretty sharp edge? Yep, right on the corner, right on, right on the top of the knee. At the time, you didn't have like a, an episode where you felt like your knee buckled out or gave out or anything like that? Well, just, just pain from the impact. Okay, yeah. great. So, um, so you're having a hard time with stairs, squatting, kneeling. Um, let's have you go ahead and lie right down on your back if you would. And so one thing I want to check with him is, you know, does he have an effusion? Did he injure the inside of his knee? And so I've done a brush test to find that that's negative, okay? But obviously you can see that he has some swelling over here, all right? Um, I take a look at his motion. His ability to straighten is good. Can you bend your knee? And tell me when it starts to hurt right there. And it hurts in this area right here. Okay. So selective tissue tension testing. We stretch it, it hurts. We're gonna give it a little bit of resistance. Hold right there. He can't hold it. Okay. I wanna make sure he didn't tear his quad. So I'm gonna ask him to lift that leg straight up in the air for me. Good, you can hold that, that feels okay. And then I'm gonna give him a little bit of resistance and he holds there. Yep. Great. Okay, so we're gonna let that leg down. And I'm just gonna do a real brief exam. I want you to relax your leg. We're gonna check his ACL. That's good. Just gonna put a little posterior push here. That's good. MCL, medial capsule is good. We're gonna bring that leg off the edge. MCL, nice and stable. Lateral capsule, good. Now I'm gonna ask you to tighten up that muscle for me. Any pain with that? It's a little sore. It's a little sore, kind of right up in the top right here. Top. Yep. So, so he has tension when we stretch him. He has discomfort when he contracts it. And notice the swelling here, okay? So I'm gonna start palpating a little bit. I'm gonna start with his tibial tubercle. I'm gonna work my way up. That's not too bad, but it feels very mushy, we'll say. We get to the top of the kneecap. <laughs> right over here, very painful. I'm not going to push real hard, but we're tender right up to here. Yep. Okay. And so, you know, it's possible he could have fractured his kneecap. So the way I'm going to try to determine if it is or not, clinically without an x-ray, is I'm going to take the edges of his kneecap. Okay, so kind of like the four corners, just like this. And I'm going to squeeze it. And there's no pain there, is there? No. Okay, because his problem is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all those corners and I'm going to push against each other. So I'm going to do a little shift like this. And if he had a fractured patella, he would go through the roof. No problem there. No. Okay. So we've identified that this is an extra articular swelling or swelling on the outside. Uh, it, it seems like he has, you know, probably damaged some of his bursa and a little bit of his quad tendon. This is quite warm, so he's inflamed. So, you know, I don't think he has a ligamentous injury. I don't think he has a meniscal problem. He has no intra-articular swelling, and he has no tenderness to the joint lines, which I've assessed a while ago um, with other tests. So this is what a prepatellar bursitis looks like, and a little damage to the uh, quad tendon. So we're gonna rest this a little bit. We're gonna take him out of running. Um, he can do some general walking on level surfaces, but we're gonna avoid declines. We're gonna avoid kneeling on this and uh, any squatting type activities that puts a lot of tension on this. And so, um, you know, we'll give him a little bit of a re uh, rest for the next week or so. And then if he's still having some trouble, we'll probably get him started in a more active program uh, to start reactivating his quad, maybe some modalities to decrease this inflammation over here and um, just get him back into a progressive strengthening program. So folks, hope you liked today's video on uh, prepatellar bursitis. And uh, if you did, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks.